Welcome to Goodnight Book with Erica and Nate. When I read this book again, that Sandra Bullock isn't in it at all. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a different, it's slightly different. Did you catch the difference in the title? Uh, yeah, but I thought maybe this would be like the like the live version, you know? <laughs> well, you are sleeping. <laughs> like, the, more of like a, I mean, because that's really what's happening if you think about it. The title isn't really accurate until the end of the movie, until he right. wakes up. Right. Right. So... Really, they fucked up. Oh, it should be called you have to well, wait you to the are whole sleeping end of the movie. until yeah. you see it, and then the title changes. It's like a dynamic poster. Uh, that, like, or, yeah. yeah. Somehow measures. I mean, this is possible in the future, I bet. Like, that can tell if you've seen the movie, and if you've seen the movie, then it displays one ad or whatever. Oh, yuck. I'm glad I'm going to be dead soon. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. But Bill Pullman was in it, which is great. Yeah, it's nice to see him in a children's and book. It's Peter, been so long. Peter Gallagher's eyebrows are also in it, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh have, Peter Gallagher's yeah, eyebrows. They're just such a good character. Yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, even in a coma, he's, those eyebrows are still bringing it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the book we're talking about today, obviously, is uh, While You Are Sleeping... Or while you while you are sleeping, I don't say that. Is that a Midwest thing? How do you, do you say? Do? do you say while or well? Yeah, while I kind of say well for while. Oh, I, think. Okay. I mean, yeah. It's because like, you're part Canadian, I think. Oh yeah, is that Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> syrup. Did they say syrup or syrup? Do you know? I don't know. That's the. I feel like they would be the ones that like settle the debate, the heated debate that we've been having. We've been on this call for about like. About two and a half hours just debating whether it's syrup or syrup. Um, Erica yeah. says syrup. I say syrup. Yeah. We both say potato. We're not idiots. Right. I mean, Erica. Um, debatable. Debatable. Um, but we're not going to debate it anymore right now. No. Nope. It is debatable, but we're not going to. Uh, what? Do, so what? What? Do we, why was I talking about that? <laughs> what? A whale was sleeping. I think is what we've decided the book name is. Okay, a whale is sleeping by Alexis Deacon. Uh, do you want to just go right into our synopses? Yeah, I really okay, tried to like do a good job on this one. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What a departure. <laughs> I know. She's really she's really bringing it for season four. Are we in season four yet? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it's the fourth month, so I think my of the year, so I think that might make sense. Okay, yeah, okay, here's my synopsis. Bedside toys come to life at night to protect their sleeping child, who is a very heavy sleeper. Yeah, that is true. That was good. That was really good. Concise. Uh, mm-hmm. Um. Mine is even shorter, but maybe less helpful, but that's why I make you go first. <clears throat> Some stuffies bitch about work. <laughs> like the very first page, to, is, like I love this book. I, yeah. I'm, spoiler alert, I like yeah. this book a lot, but it the first line does kind of make it sound like they're bitching. It's like, Ugh, do you have any idea how hard this is? Did you ever even stop and think? It's kind of bitchy. It starts out kind of bitchy. I think it's funny. <laughs> Like resentful yeah, or whatever. It's really cute. They, I, yeah, it's like the illustrations are lovely and then it's sort of hard to see what's going on. And then eventually, like for me who read it the first time, it was like, where are they? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, they're in the back because they're pretending to be immobile while the child is awake. And then when the child goes to sleep, they're like, okay, it's time to work. Uh-huh. Um, well, and then. They had a time clock. <laughs> right. Chink, uh-huh. that's punching in. Yeah. How would and then you there's a new toy. Art. Sorry. How yeah, would I describe a new, it? A new toy joins up. That's the. <sighs> yeah, that's the way we get into the story. Yeah, I guess that's Introducing us. the new new know. toy to the work that they have to do. How would you describe this artwork? It's like sketchish. It's sketchy. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's uh, layered. It's very. It looks very hand drawn, um, mm-hmm. dreamy. Kind of has like a misty, foggy quality to it. Yeah, so. I, I was surprised to see some. I was just kind of like looking around online briefly and just to see when it was published, and I was like. Hmm. 2015, by the way. Okay. And there's people that don't like this book. They think it's haunting and creepy and scary. <laughs> and, like, I do think it's a little haunting, but I, I think I've mentioned before that I have a spooky little kid. Mm-hmm. And so she really liked this. And I think the idea of stuffed animals coming to life is scary to us. Were you a big stuffy head? Yeah. I yeah? love stuffed animals, yeah. I did, too. I had, a, like, a collection. My max was a hundred and. It's 58 is the oh my gosh. highest number I remember. I probably got more after that and just stopped caring as much. But um, <laughs> I re- when I was five, I made a wish for Easter to the Easter Bunny because I thought you could do that. I don't know mm-hmm. where I got that impression exactly. I think I was just trying things out. Like yeah. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, I guess. That's right. Um, I wished for my animals, my all my stuffed animals to come to life. So this like resonates with me in a pretty big way. And the idea think, of them coming to life was not scary, I guess is my point. Like well, when you're I a kid, it's not you don't get it. The that, cover was a little haunting to me because of the because of the style of the art. Mm-hmm. Um and then once you get into it, you realize this is every kid's dream to just be like, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna put the safety of my person in the hands in the capable hands of my stuffed animals. And so they, they yeah. check under the bed. They, they're they checking in various, right? They're just, All over. they're kind they, of like every patrolling. Corner, every cupboard. Yeah, yep. they have to check everything under the bed when they get brave. I love that scene. I know. How they're all scared. They're like, well, we can't stay here very long. We got stuff to do. But they're all just like <laughs> cowering. Um, yeah. yeah uh, I think it's like what is scary to a kid is going to sleep. <laughs> Like, right. I think that yeah. can be really scary. I think Wes is, has some fear of falling asleep. So yeah. the idea of having these protectors around you, I think, is makes made her feel really good. That's I, I, was, I would see that in a little kid being like, oh, amazing. Like, And then you could tell the story if they have stuffed animals, like that's what right. your stuffed animals are doing for you. Yeah, this one, but this one's a loser. Don't trust this one. Don't piglet. <laughs> Piglet's an idiot. Piglet falls asleep, just like sleeps through most Always of the shift. Always on the job. Yeah. Um, so what are I'm all sorry. the stuffy? <laughs> what are all the animals in those? Like I could get the teddy bear. There's one of those sock monkeys. Um, yeah, uh, I think there's. I couldn't get all. Oh, there's an elephant that's drawn kind of oddly. There's an elephant with glasses. Oh. Um. The There's new one is what? Like a, a little, little baby lion. lion? Yeah, yeah. A little lion. There's a... I don't know what that weird one is. I know. The other little one? Oh, there's a little puppy. It's a little puppy. Yeah. His ears okay. are drooped over his face Yeah, all that's, the time. that's why I couldn't quite figure that one out. Yeah, so it kind of just looks like he has one weird eye falling out mm. of his mouth or something. Mm-hmm. So it's not a lot, right? No. It's a small crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the sock um, monkey's a little creepy, but they always are. They're just... They movie. always are. You're right. Nope. Uh-huh. Was there ever, like, a movie or anything where a sock monkey did something weird? I just feel like... I think it's the symbol crashing monkey. It's the monkey that shines monkey. Weird. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also think the one part of the reason I like this book, I think, is kind of similar to last week a little bit, is that I feel like, in a way, we're the stuffies, the parents a little bit oh. like they're doing you know it's kind of like they're doing our job or that's really what we're doing in a way right. is protecting them but they get you know so what i now i i'm what i'm trying to do is bitch about my job right like these stuffies <laughs> are kind of oh I stealing see my saying. thunder yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny that or- santa ends up coming into this thing because there's another guy trying to steal my thunder. super creepy yeah yeah. Well, that's my my highlight was um, generally that I thought it was going to be creepy, and then it was super sweet and frequently funny. Like you said, the scene of them like like psyching themselves up to go under the bed. 
Um, but I think the be- I my best scene, my favorite scene, was when they get distracted by the stocking that Santa has left them, and they're all crowded around it except for the new lion who's trying to keep the child from falling out of bed, and it it just physically is impossible. This little lion uh-huh. is doing their best, and then they all kind of rush to that lion's aid and pull the kid back in and one of them has like the kid by the head and, <laughs> and you, the lion is off to the side like recuperating uh-huh. <laughs> it's really cute yeah the, the 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 yeah the tiny stories are really good at it mm-hmm. the do you uh was all of a heavy sleeper in, when she was a little like that well she no i mean like in her sleep cycle yes there are moments when she's a heavy sleeper but she i was just thinking about this when you were talking about wes she went through a phase, and I forget, it's actually kind of associated with, like, some developmental stage of, like, I don't know, teething or something older, where she had night terrors, where she would, mm. like, wake up, and it, but she wasn't awake, and just would be, like, inconsolable and freaking out, and then she, somehow you'd get her back to sleep, but yeah. she was, like, panicking, and she wouldn't remember it the next day. It was super weird. Yeah, Wes has had a couple of those. Oh, that's awful. I don't know if that's technically a night terror, but uh, it's something, something like about nighttime is pretty universally rough. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like they, I don't know, it is like you're handing, you're like handing over the keys every time you go to I sleep, know. and I which I, I also honestly struggle with. I don't anymore because I'm just so tired. Yeah. But, you know, uh, but before i did before children <laughs> yeah yeah you'd struggle to get to sleep yeah for sure just because it was like uh, i don't know i don't like going to yeah it, it's the same thing i just don't like uh handing I mean, over the keys it's you die every night you know that's it's like uh, let's exactly just go there you, yeah right? that's what i say that's what i told Wes. it's kind of like you die every night <laughs> uh <laughs> um who do you think what stuffy is talking if you had to guess which stuffy is talking who would you guess? I think it's the bear, the teddy bear. What about yeah. you? Yeah, me too. The bear seems like the most charge. capable. Yep. Yeah, mm. they've, they're the one with the bag. I guess maybe that's what I think. So <laughs> he's got like a messenger bag on, or she? Who I does? Don't know. The bear. He does. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so cute. I'm not sure what's in there. I wonder if if it ever like comes in handy. Oh, let's talk about the uh, last page, like the. Final, final page. Yeah. Did, did mm-hmm. I send you that with all the kid, the guys yeah. on it? No? Can you show me? Show me on the screen. Yeah. Here no, we go. you did not show me this. Oh, look at this. Aww. I meant to send it to you. Oh, it's Andre the Giant. Exactly. And what is going on here? Yeah, there's all these like real pop culture icons oh, on here. Oh, interesting. Let me read it. I'll tell you a few of them who I recognize. Okay. There's another sock monkey. There's some like weird hippo that I recognize, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a few characters that I definitely recognize but don't know. There's mm-hmm. a robot. There's probably, I think there's, oh, there's Stimpy. Oh, funny. Andre the Giant. Um, who else is recognizable? Mm. Oh, Kermit the Frog, like, doll thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Battle licensed- Cat. Battle Cat is on here oh. from He-Man. Oh. Which is insane. That's this my is, So this is like an 80s Simba, maybe? culture. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Um, anyway. It's weird. It's, yeah, I don't know. Exactly. With the licensing, I guess I don't know how that works. Did Andre well, sign so on So do you have any theories about why this collection is on the back, in that back cover? Is it something specific? I, okay, so here would be my theory. Okay. Is it specific to the author's childhood? That these are all the toys slash stuffies that they had. Well, so that's why it's so random. Yes, I think that is entirely because it's basically my childhood also. Right. It feels relatable. Um, although some of them I don't recognize, but I don't know where this is from. It's possible oh, that it's, mm, these are British things. Culturally, or, sure. Um, <laughs> although and Andre Brit- the Giant is really, really funny. Um, yeah, and very British. Actually, I don't know where he was from. Was he He's Austrian? From like, yeah, I think they're all all the giants are from Austria. You think so? <laughs> I do think it's Austria, but I I shan't I sh- I shall walk back my generalization of giants. 
I think that's wise. All right, everybody, you can stop typing out those emails. Clickety clickety clack. Um, yeah, I like the sub story or like yeah, the story of the new kid too. Yeah, it's kind of a nice perspective to have. Like, it's like you know, it's like classic expository. Right. Right. That's why it's funny though, because the actually telling the story, they're not talking to the lion, but all of our experiences visually are through the lion's perspective. Mm -hmm. I guess they were like, "Mm, that's interesting. It it, like splits it in narrative and visual representation. Yeah. As far as who's talking. Like it's like a, was it ever uh, find the, like for you reading to the kids, you know, I like those books where they have find the same thing on every page. Mm -hmm. Did you ever do that with her? We did with, uh, I do that with both of the kids on Goodnight Book, actually. Goodnight Moon, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say Goodnight Book, the name of our successful podcast? <laughs> I you believe Goodnight. you did. Um, yeah, but in Goodnight Moon, there's a little mouse on every yeah. page. Mm-hmm. Or on all the room pages, anyway. I used, that was one of my favorite devices as a kid. And it like lasted until I was much, much older. I still really liked finding it. I can't, there's a couple books that are like haunting or some sort of like very visceral response that I have that I could never identify. You know, I couldn't tell you what they were, but like super fun illustrations. Gotta well, I remember that you like re- got really, really into Where's Waldo in high school. That's you right. were wearing the hat I always the wore it. and the sweater. Yeah. Racked it. Yeah, those glasses. I don't think you even needed glasses then, but you... Actually, you did, but you would put contacts on and then Waldo glasses. Yeah, just, like just for fun. And it was really easy to find you, actually, because of the hat. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> There's Erica. Yeah, it was kind of ironic, actually. That made it way easier to find you. So, Did we... Was there a dress code in high school? Speaking mm. of like what you could and couldn't wear, like hats or... You know, hoodies are kind of a thing sometimes in schools. Now it's like I don't remember much. I think there was like you couldn't have like. Do you remember like the old T-shirts were like uh, John uh, Johnson, Big Johnsons, whatever, (laughs) or like co-ed naked shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like I feel like uh, there was limits on those, but that you could sneak them by, and people definitely would. But like mm -hmm. there was some that were just like okay. Like this one's just a reference. There's to no, sex or a, there's no like right. clever innuendo about this one. Right, right, right. Uh, so I think there were those, but like I feel, and I, I'm sure there was. I bet there was some like sexist stuff, some girl stuff that girl you could wear. Girl yeah. things. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like people really and cleavage push it stuff much. or whatever. whatever. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I bet there was some hair stuff. If I had to guess, really. Oh, like length? I don't think length. Color? Because no, you, I'm asking because you had like a stocking hat on all the time. You dyed your hair all the time. I wasn't any of that. Yeah, there wasn't a hat problem. I think there might have been some classrooms that you weren't allowed to wear your hat. Uh-huh. Like Willine probably would have. Yeah, probably. Um, But no, other than that, I don't really remember. I don't really I remember much. really challenging. <laughs> Um, it's because yeah. you were high on meth. I was high on meth the all the time. Does Olive still have? Does Olive? Did Olive ever have like a stuffy like? Um, she, she did for a while. Anything? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. She- There's several, but not not one that she like dragged everywhere. But it would be one that she had to sleep with every night, and then she just sometimes she still sleeps with stuffies. Other times, no. But it's not the same one anymore. She's eleven. She's too cool for that night yeah i know i still sleep with the stuffy do you yeah it's a pillow i was gonna say do you have those body body pillows for your (laughs) back and knees and hip pain viv got one of those i think the first time she was pregnant and it was always like crowding the bed like it would get all like in my area and like Uh on me and like so i pretended like it was like the other man that's how we framed it. It was Lumpy, we called him. So I always pretend that I like, say stuff about, like, snide remarks about Lumpy. 
Well, I bet Lumpy wouldn't do this or whatever. Like, Lumpy <laughs> wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do this to Your Lumpy. Your perfect boyfriend, uh-huh. Lumpy. <laughs> I'm a joy. Um, did you ever play badminton? The reason I ask is because I like there's that a, scene where they're trying to scare cock. the dreams away. Yeah. Yeah, there's a shuttlecock yeah. in this. And I just love the word shuttlecock. I'll yeah, admit it. how can you not? Um, I love badminton. And did I ever play it? Sure. Do I really know how? If there's a technique, I don't know it. But no one will play with me. No, no. Uh, I guess you got to get a couple people together. I would play with you if you were around here. It would be yeah. tough now. We'd have to really be. whack that shuttle cat. <laughs> or we'd have to do here. some sort of weird parallel version of it over well, Zoom. Well, they do have, mm-hmm. like, badminton, I think, on, like, Wii. Mm-hmm. So we could both buy Wiis and then okay. buy whatever subscriptions um, oh my God. you'd have that would to do be to be able fun, to play actually. it. Okay. That would be very fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, that does sound fun. Maybe uh, this is our... I'm going to evolve into a video game player and just be on video games all the time. Okay. That sounds great. Um, no. Let's start with, should we start with, maybe we should start with something free. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, like Animal Crossing or something. <laughs> <laughs> I heard good things about that <laughs> four years ago. I know. I know. That's awesome. Outdated information. Um, I finally learned how to floss so that we could start playing Fortnite. Okay, I don't remember know that dance, that floss dance. Yes, I do, yeah. but the Fortnite has flossing in it. That's where the dance became popularized. Oh yes. no way! That yeah. is hilarious. Okay, that's a deeper reference than I have. Look, I'm pretty uh, hip. My kid's a little younger than yours, so she, she <laughs> she's she, way more into it. Uh, she gets kind of like the really, really hip stuff. Um, do you think Santa knows the stuffies? Because, like, did Santa deliver those stuffies? Oh, yeah. Or make them or whatever? Like, yeah. You know. It's maybe the magic of Santa that has brought the stuffies to life. Hmm. So, like, yeah, maybe. I just, what do you- I like the idea that Santa's just like, oh, hey, guys. Like, yeah. you, you got, like, maybe that's part of his yeah. gambit is that, like, he makes them sentient and, like, he gives away these presents, but it also, they're like sleeper cells. <laughs> that wake up to make sure she doesn't, servitude. he doesn't wake up. I'll bring up. you to life and I'll give you a kid, but you got to work for me for the rest of uh, your I'll life. I'll bring you to life and make it so that your driving goal, I mean, really, they are bitching about work again. Uh-huh. Do you, would, would you want to see this story, if you could see this story through anyone else's perspective in this book, who would it be and why? Uh, the kid, because I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably uh, the elephant, because I have glasses. <laughs> I'm kind of a big nose, too. Uh, I would say Santa Claus. I have no good oh, answer, no. I, I know. I uh, actually was thinking about Santa Claus. That's what prompted my question. He just would be a very short book. <laughs> just kind of or it'd just be about him, like, bitching about having to get into this chimney. Yes. <laughs> Do you have any? Well, have you ever thought about how hard it is for, for this my butt to get white. through this chimney? Yeah. My yeah. jolly jelly bully. What do they, they say? I don't know that. Bowl full of jello. That seems mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's no wonder Santa breaks into all our houses, talking shit about him. Yeah. They, the cookies have probably gotten worse too. For sure, no more, no more homemade. Just the Chips Ahoy, yeah, sawdust cookies. I used to love Chips Ahoy though. Did you? I never had them as a kid. And it... What's wrong? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, not... "What the fuck is that?" I was like, "I thought it was you." Um. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was Nothing my phone happened. making Nothing noise. Nothing happened here. Uh, what were we just talking about? I'm sorry. That was really distracting. Not us chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I never had them growing up. Uh, so I always, they were kind of like the forbidden fruit. And then I had them. And I was like, what the fuck? No. 
They're so dry. Soft batch mm-hmm. are so much better. They have so much gross stuff in them, so I can't like them anymore. But soft batch were like always soft. Oh my god, they were amazing. They do I, taste really weird though when you think about the taste of them. It's like it's like a taste that makes you go meow meow. Taste that makes you go meow meow. I love that song. <laughs> I do too. By CNC mm-hmm. Music Things. Factory. Was Arsenio Hall involved in that? <laughs> Mm-mm. I don't think so. I think he had a segment on his show that was things that make yes. you go, hmm. Oh. No? <laughs> I don't know. Did you like Arsenio really... did, did you watch Arsenio Hall? You I did? did a little. Do you remember the dog pound? No. That was much better would... pop culture. Um Oh, it's like so such like a tiny like I have I have like a like a slice through pop culture historically. I like only know exactly what I know. And it's this tiny little like oh I like this band, so I found this band, and then I like this band. Like, but it's only yeah. like this one. And I know nothing surrounding one it. Direction. No context yeah. at all. Oh yeah, I love One Direction. <laughs> um, Arsenio, things that yeah. Things that make <laughs> Well, who he was it, like, did it first? Uh, inspired by a running gag on the Arsenio Hall show. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Are you serious? Okay, let me Okay. Are you gonna play it? The song Okay, the single features okay, this is okay. CNC Music Factory. It was released in June 1991 as the third single from their debut album, Gonna Make You Sweat. The single version features Freedom Williams and Zelma Davis, who also appear in the company music video, while female vocals are provided by Deborah Cooper instead of Davis. I don't know why am I reading all this? The song was inspired by a running gag on the Arsenio Hall show, where Arsenio, while allegedly on a long drive, pondered certain thoughts and referred to them as things that make you go, hmm. Oh my god, I had no idea they were connected. Yep, everything's connected. We're all connected. And that's what I want the takeaway for this episode to be. We're all connected. And that's all we have to say for the rest of our lives about While well, You Are Sleeping by Alexis Deacon. If you like the show, please rate and review it and tell somebody you like about us. And if you don't like it, tell somebody you don't like. Do you get the logic there? For a transcript of this episode or any episode, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen, and we will send you back a post-it note that just says, uh, uh, uh. I gotta jot this down a second. Figure out how to spell, uh, uh, uh. Until next time, good night, mush. Good night, creepy old lady. And (laughs) good night, book. The end. Still flare me after all these years.